home equestrians it's me Lisa the budget equestrian welcome back to another video and today I have something so fun and so cool that I want to share with you today I'm gonna to show you how to make squishy rails can you see my horses back there they're really not quite sure what to think of these things the reason I wanted to make these squishy rails is way back last year when I was taking my riding lessons they had these and they were really helpful for learning how to jump, walking over something different and getting the horses used to things that they may not usually come into contact with, especially out in their riding arena. And they're used to everything's always the same. So I wanted to change it up. And these soft poles, squishy rails, whatever you want to call them, you can buy them online, but they cost about 178 British pounds for three of them. So today I wanted to show you how I made these, and it cost me about $20, give or take, with the glue and the tarps and everything to make six squishy rails. So I was able to make something new for my horses, save a lot of money, and I thought you might want to know how to do it for yourself too. That's Frisbee. <laughs> I don't like the squishy rails. Okay, to make these squishy rails, I had an old mattress topper of memory foam, and I didn't want to throw it away, so I thought I would make some squishy rails. First, I figured out how wide I wanted the rails to be, and the holes that were in the mattress pad worked perfectly. So what I did was just cut out in between the holes of the mattress pad and that made each of these about three inches wide. So I just kept cutting sections of the mattress pad until I had enough pieces to make my squishy rails. And once the pieces were cut out, I decided to double them up in size so they're a little bit bigger. So I just took some Gorilla Glue and then I just attached two of the pieces of the foam to each other. And then I used some books and different boxes of things to put some pressure to hold the glue together. And once the foam rails were all dry, the glue was all dry, then I found some tarps and the tarps are going to be the outer covering of the rails. So first I did blue. and I cut off the ends of the tarps where the grommets were because I don't need the grommets, I just need the tarp material. And then I just used some glue and then I also used a glue gun to attach the tarp to the foam. And this was the first rail that I made and I didn't use a lot of the tarp material, but as I progressed, I learned it's better to have more tarp material around the foam. And I'm just using a glue gun to seal the edge of the tarp onto the foam. And if you are trying this at home, be careful because the glue in a hot glue gun gets hot. The most important part is to make sure that the tarp is completely sealed around the foam because you don't want to take these outside and have your horses kick them and then the tarp comes apart from the foam.
And then on the ends, what I did was just seal it and then make sure there was a lot of glue holding the folded edge down. And can you see what I'm doing here? I'm using a glue stick to smooth out the glue and make sure it's in contact with the tarp. But by using the glue stick, I'm not risking burning myself with the hot glue. I felt pretty smart for figuring that out. And then I used some E6000 glue on the outside on top of where I had already sealed it down with the hot glue gun because again, I really wanna make sure that these are gonna last and not come apart when I'm using them with my horses. And once I did the blue, then I did the red. And then I did the yellow. I found all of these tarps on Amazon. They were around $4.50 a piece and they are eight foot by 10 foot long tarps, which gave me enough material to make six rails. So two of each color. And these are the squishy rails all done. So now I'm just showing you how you can set them up and use them in your arena. You can use them as trot poles. Or you can set them up like a jump. So you can just get your standards. and put a squishy rail between the standards. This would be an excellent first jump if you're just getting started with jumping. And you can also use them to kind of guide which way you're gonna go in through the jump. And these are the squishy rails and the horses checking them out. They didn't really like them when I first brought them out. And if you are going to use them in an arena, make sure you have some place to put them because as you can see, horses like to play with the squishy rails and you want to make them last. So when you're not using them, it's a good idea to put them someplace out of your horse's reach. And I just happen to have this space inside my little jump locker that works really well for storing my squishy rails. All right, so there you have it. That is how you can make your very own soft poles, squishy rails, whatever you want to call them. They're really fun to work with your horse, get your horse used to jumping, get you used to jumping, and trying something new and different with your horse. Thanks so much for taking the time out of your day to spend a few minutes watching this video. Be sure to subscribe to my channel and you can see all the other DIY videos I have that are horse related, and now even some other stuff that's not horse related, like inside stuff you can do too. And if you can't get enough of The Budget Equestrian, be sure to check out my podcast on iTunes, The Budget Equestrian. Again, thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.